Project Kent 2018 with Kent Reliance and KMFM. We're the Young Lives Foundation and our project was selected for Project Kent 2018. We make a difference to over 3,000 children each year who are disadvantaged across the county of Kent and we do that through mentoring, befriending, uh, bespoke activity programmes um, and advocacy services. We use our headquarters as more of a hub and a resource for children and volunteers to use. At the moment it's an office and it meets the office need but we don't get many young people coming to our offices to, to, to work with us so we want to make it more of an attractive place where we can deliver our positive activity programs, deliver mentoring, provide help for schools, for other community groups to come and use it um, and for social workers and uh, foster carers to come and use our facilities as well. Make an amazing difference, a lot of young people don't have access to the right sort of space at home um, to do things like their homework uh, and to, to meet with their mentors and befrienders so this would give us the opportunity to make far more use of this building. It's Gary and Laura from KMFM Breakfast. And it's day four of Project Kent. We're here at the Young Lives Foundation in Maidstone. So let's go and see what's going on inside. Apparently, we need to pick up our paint brushes, Gary, so get ready. Let's just get that G perfect. Oh, watch out, coming through, coming through. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. We wanted to get some colour in here, some new sort of desking so we could have areas where young people could come and work and do their homework and just chill out with us. Yeah. We want TV screens, Xboxes, things like that downstairs. Awesome. So it's all coming together now and to see the orange and our blue <laughs> uh, on the walls, um, it's, it's weird isn't it? I mean I'm really excited about it. I started my apprenticeship two years ago, it's been really plain since and I'm walking in the office now and seeing bits of blue, bits of orange everywhere. It's really super exciting and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. So with hours left to go, we really can't keep this lady too long because we've got to give the keys back to the Young Lives Foundation here in Maystone. This is Nim from Kent Reliance and they are just running around so manic right now. What a week. It has been absolutely fantastic. It's really been brilliant. We've had volunteers from Kent Reliance and from KMFM down to here today and all week. And we've just got lots of last minute jobs to do. Already you can see the paint is up. Um, we've got masking tape to take off, we've got hoovering to do, we've got last clear up to do, so yeah, very exciting, but time is ticking. Over 35 volunteers. That's right, yeah. Dozens and dozens of litres of paint. So many, so <laughs> many, and if I smell white spirit again, oh, I bet, yeah. it's going to be... Too yeah, soon. <laughs> exactly. uh, this isn't where the project ends, is it? Because uh, some of your guys have been touched so much by this charity that it's going to continue. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Um, Neil, who we've been speaking to here for quite a while, he's been very inspirational and been speaking to the volunteers. And after this week, we're going to be running um, an internal campaign to actually get adult volunteers and mentors in and see what else we can do. So the story doesn't end here. We're really keen to keep going. Well, listen, your volunteers are making noise because you aren't doing no work. So go, go, go. There's hours to go. Let's get out of it, out of it. So here we are at Young Lives Foundation in Maystone with Steve. Even the CEO and James, our contact at Brewers, who's the regional manager for Kent and Sussex. Um, this has been an incredible week. Thank you so much to all of the Kent Reliance volunteers who have put in hours and hours of work, dozens and dozens of litres of paint into this place uh, to make it a more vibrant place for young people to come and do their homework, learn core skills, and just basically hang out. And Stephen, before we kind of talk more about Project Kent, Young Lives is so important for many, many reasons. But why do you, the CEO, why do you believe in this so much. I believe in the Young Lives Foundation because I know it truly makes a difference to over 3,000 children every year um, and our services are unique um, and we travel with young people for as long as they want us to um, so uh, we make an effort for young people and we tailor our services for them. So obviously I remember speaking to you before the project started you said the big worry was that it felt a bit, your words, a bit like a dodgy <laughs> dentist reception. Yes. Yeah <laughs> and so what do you think of the works that have been done? We've got colour. Yeah, yeah. yeah see the colour, see the colour. We've actually got colour in the building and um, it's fresh and it smells good, it looks good and I think it's much more welcoming already. So um, I can't say thank you enough for everything that Brewers and uh, Kent Reliance and Project Kent have done for us and KMFM this week. Well, without James, thank you so much for everything that you've done as well because your team has supplied so much pain, so many materials for us to achieve this. But you were saying earlier on to me that you do quite a lot of this as Brewers, don't you? There's a lot of a big volunteering and a big community feel to your business. Yeah, well, throughout Kent we've got 11 branches and now 169 throughout the UK. And with all those branches, we support, love to support local communities and local charities. And this charity appealed to us straight away as soon as we were contacted to add some colour to a building like this for the 
charity that's going on is just fantastic and uh, all the team are really pleased to get involved with it. Well, one week of hard work. Thank you to everybody who uh, nominated for their project this year. But there is one little surprise left, um, which isn't from me, it's from this guy. James, I've got something for you, haven't I, for Stephen. To just add a little bit extra, we've donated a £300 check for furniture, pictures, whatever you need for the building, just to lift it that 10% even better. Amazing. Thank you ever so much. You're all very welcome. Well, thank you so much. We will thank you. put this to very, very good use. Good. Uh, so, so Project Ken, yeah. done and dusted for another year. Thank you to everybody who's been involved, everybody at Brewers, everyone at Kent Reliance, everyone here at Young Lives Foundation, which you need to find out more about, whether you can volunteer, whether you can spread the word on social media, do anything for this incredible Kent charity, it'd be very much appreciated. Go and check out all of the progress on Facebook and on kmfm.co.uk to see how it started and how it ended up like this.